All right, so good day, class. Uh, today we'll be discussing a thesis statement. So, what is thesis statement? How to formulate a thesis statement? And uh, where to find a thesis statement? So, that is the topic that we will be discussing. Okay. So, after you have brainstormed and you have some main ideas of what you would like to write in your essay, you can actually begin thinking about writing a thesis statement, okay? So, the question there is, what is a thesis statement, okay? So, a thesis statement is a complete sentence that contains one main idea, and that one main idea is actually controls the content of the entire essay. And, of course, it will followed by the sub points okay and what is the uh what is the purpose of sub points in there okay the sub points will help a reader to know how the essay how the essay will be organized or what would be the flow of the essay so that's the role of the sub points in a thesis statement okay so now this is an introductory paragraph so try to observe an introductory paragraph so when i was young i always knew that i wanted to become a teacher someday when i played i would often gather my dolls together and pretend to teach them how to do math problems or how to read a book as i grew older my desire to become an english as a secondary language teacher became clearer as i did some voluntary teaching overseas and in the united states as i look back on my reasons for becoming a teacher there are three reasons that stand out. They are my love for the English language, my innate interest in how people learn, and my desire to help other people. So if you try to study the uh, thesis statement, the one that is faded, uh, the one that is highlighted with yellow orange, that is our thesis statement. If you're going to ask me why, sir, because of course that contains the main idea which probably control the content of your essay, all right? Because uh, the first uh, statement that I just read, that I just read, those are the facts, okay? So they are not considered a thesis statement because when we say a thesis statement, this is the main idea that you will be discussing the entire essay that you have, okay? Especially in the body, okay? So, as I look back on my reason for becoming a teacher, definitely you will be discussing the reasons why you wanted to become a teacher. So therefore, this is a thesis statement. The sub point in there, in the thesis or nearby, that will help the reader know how the essay will be organized because of that sub points or subtopic that you put it in there, okay? So, just in case that you are confused, uh, I'll give you another example. Try to study this uh, introductory paragraph. So psychologists have argued for decades about how a person's character is formed. Numerous psychologists believe that one birth order, like for example, their placement in the family, if there is a youngest, oldest, or middle, or child, so, or I mean middle child, has the greatest influence. I believe birth order can have a significant impact in the formation of a child's character based on my own experience growing up in a family of four children. Birth order can strongly affect one relationship with parents, relationship with others, and how one views responsibility as an adult. So now class, try to understand the message of the introductory paragraph. So if you try to look at on the first uh, statement, no? so basically mga psychologists, nagkakaroon sila ng pagtatalo kung, um, kung paano nga ba nadidevelop ang isang karakter ng isang tao. So may mga psychologists na naniniwala na nadidevelop ang pag-uugali ng isang tao depende sa placement ng kanilang uh, pagkatao or kanilang kapanganakan, kumare, panganay sila, bunso, or maybe they're on the middle age, okay? So now, what is the thesis statement in there? Obviously, 
the thesis statement is I believe that birth order can have a significant impact in the formation of child's character based on my own experience growing up in a family of four children. Why I say so? It is because this is a complete sentence. When we say a complete sentence, it requires a complete thought. And at the same time, there is the main idea in there about what? Birth order, correct? Birth order. So now you are going to ask yourself about what is your opinion about it now in order to complete the uh, thesis statement or you're going to ask yourself the technique is there the technique in there is you have to ask yourself uh, like the question how why and what okay so these are the questions that you have to consider for you to be able to formulate a very effective thesis statement Okay. So what are the key features of the thesis statement that we have to consider? Of course, first, you have to, you have to uh, state the main idea of the essay in a complete sentence, not in a question, okay? Not in a question form. It's usually at the end of an introduction. And number three, it also states an opinion or attitude on a topic, the one that I just mentioned earlier, the technique, right? It doesn't just state the topic itself. And four, often lists of subtopics. And five, does not directly announce your main topic, okay? So now, how are we gonna get a main idea in a complete sentence, okay? So since the thesis statement class is the main statement for the entire essay, it should express a complete thought and be a complete sentence. Does that make any sense, right? The thesis statement is asserting an opinion or idea. So it should not be a question. So it should not be in a question form. It should be in a statement form, okay? So I'm gonna give you an example. The main idea, must be a complete sentence. And the requirements to make it a complete sentence is to make your statement in a complete thought. So what is the example for that? So look at this, the sport of cross country running, there's no problem with that, okay, we got the main idea. But the problem is this is not a complete sentence. So we could have done this way. The sport of cross country running has allowed me to get in better shape and meet some interesting people. So this is a thesis statement, okay? Next, why do I want to be a teacher? That is in the form of question. Uh, I said earlier that it should be in a statement form. So you could have done this way. Being a teacher is a great profession because it allows me to work with students and be creative. But definitely you can revise that if you want. It depends uh, what, what is your purposes, diba? Right? Or what are your what are your intention why you wanted to become a teacher? But if you try to observe the two uh, example that I just gave you, obviously class, diba, right? you will ask yourself what is the benefits uh, you get from joining that particular sport. So you you have a better shape, no? And of course, you meet some uh, interesting people. Okay, so another example class, just in case that you may confuse or uh, you wanted more example for you to be able to understand, then I'll give it to you. For example, this one, the problem of pollution in big cities. Okay, that's the main idea and stating fact, but this is not a complete sentence. So to make it a complete sentence, you could have done this way. So the problem of pollution in major cities can be alleviated by limiting the number of cars allowed to drive on city streets and creating more efficient public transportation system. And uh, second question, uh, we will be discuss that. But first, um, try to observe this one. Oh. So the problem of pollution in big cities is not just giving you a complete thought, but on the sentence, uh, but the revision, but the revised one is uh, providing you a recommend uh, recommendation or recommended solution or maybe an opinion. No? So try to look at this one. The problem of pollution in major cities can be alleviated. Ibig sabihin, pwede namang gawin na limitahan ang mga number no, ng mga sasakyan that they will go 
uh, drive in city streets and uh, dapat gumawa rin ng efficient public transportation system to make it organized, right? So, on the second uh, example class, why should marijuana be legalized? Obviously, class, this is a form of question. And uh, this question raised also with uh, Katriona Gray, if you remember that. Um, so basically, if this is the question, for example, uh, I give it as an asynchronous activity. So what will you do in order to make it a, a thesis statement? So this is how you do it, okay? Marijuana should be legalized because it is not any more addictive than tobacco and it can provide numerous uh, medicinal benefits for those suffering from terminal illnesses, okay? So, um, just so you know, class, no, it's not just because of illicit drugs or whatever drugs for that, anything that is not used uh, moderately or that is a form of abuse, diba? Kahit naman asukal lang yan, diba? Pag kumain ka na maraming asukal, you abuse the, uh, the amount of sugar that you need to take in, in a certain day. So that is abusing, no? So basically, it's you, yourself, how to, uh, to use anything or any kind of medicines around you uh, moderately. So dapat itake mo lang yung appropriate na medicine na kailangan. Okay, kung vitamin siyan, that's fine. But definitely, you could revise this uh, thesis statement the way that you wanted to justify what marijuana is all about. So it's all up to you. But that's just my point. Okay. So now, since we know how to make a uh, thesis statement, we know uh, that the thesis thesis statement must be or must a complete sentence, or it requires a complete thought. Now we have to locate. Where is the placement of the thesis statement in the introductory uh, paragraph? We all know that the thesis statement is in the introductory paragraph. Pagagawa ka ng essay, nasa introduction siya makikita. But where exactly in the introductory part? You know what the purpose why we have this thesis statement? Because most of the English readers like to know what an essay will be about near the beginning of the essay rather than at the end. So, ibig sabihin, ang mga nagbabasa class, eh, binabasa lang yung umpisa, hindi nila tinatapos, right? That's why they make sure that they get the main idea at the end, almost at the end of your introductory paragraph. So, meaning before the sub-points or the sub-topic uh, that you have. So, that is a thesis statement. So that uh, that's where you can or where you can locate the thesis statement. Okay. So, for example, this one: For most of my life, I have lived with bad health, smelly clothes, and a chronic cough. My children and husband begged me to stop the habit that caused this condition, but I couldn't. The habit of smoking had uh, wrapped its addicting arms around me. And I was slowly struggling me until one day I realized I had to stop. This realization came after three terrifying events occurred in my family. So if you notice, class, there is an underlying word. So that means that is the location of our thesis statement. But if you're going to ask me, sir, you told me that uh, before the subtopic, where is the subtopic? I intentionally removed the subtopic to avoid confusion class, but you can definitely add that in if you want, okay? You can actually continue uh, and put the subtopic if you'd like, okay? But of course, um, if there is no underline in there, you could have you could have underlined the uh, maybe the second sentence here. My children and husband begged me to stop the habit that caused this condition, but I couldn't because of this uh, possible condition. So you may probably think that this is a subtopic, yung the habit of smoking had dropped in addictive arms, but definitely it's not, okay? So be careful. Always remember that the thesis statement, this is the one who controlling your, uh, the entire essay. So the first, uh, the first statement that I just said, class, is uh, we called it a facts, okay? Yung mga katotohanan nangyari sa buhay mo. You're just stating the facts. But of course, 
the bottom line, the point that you want to discuss is the realization. Yung dumating ka na sa punto ng buhay mo, yung turning point ng buhay mo. Yun yung i-discuss mo, right? So that's how you understand the concept of thesis statement. Okay? For the sake of continue, uh, for the sake of thesis statement, to make it uh, much clearer. So I'm gonna add up, like for example, this realization can after three terrifying events occurred in my life, such as my father died when, uh, when I was when I was a kid because of too much smoking. My grandma as well suffering uh, multiple illness because of multiple illnesses, uh, because of uh, secondhand smoke. So I don't know what other reasons that I can put on because I'm not, the, uh, I don't smoke. But of course, definitely we all know that smoking um, is dangerous to our health, no? Nakalagay naman yan sa pakete ng sigarilyo. And obviously, pwede naman, my purpose naman but ginawa yung cigarette, no? But, uh, I cannot see the big advantage of taking it, but I can picture out the big possibility that may destroy to your health or maybe the people around you. So yun yun na, na. But of course, there is an advantage for that. Um, another example, um, this one. Maya Angelou is an accomplished African-American author in the United States. While growing up, she suffered tremendous hardship. So some of her most uh, difficult life events are portrayed in novels and poems such as I Know Why the Caged Birds Sing and Still I Rise. Her written works often include strong themes such as perseverance, true trials, love for family, and passionate optimism. When I say themes, this is not a group, uh, tema, no? tema, just in case that you are just listening. So this is a theme. So basically, if if I did not put an underline there, you, you may probably underline a different stances or a different line. You may probably put in there your main idea is while growing up, she suffered tremendous hardship. So that is an incomplete thought because you may probably believe that the second... Uh, um, second line is what we call the sub point, which is not okay. Do not be confused, that's only the title of his poem, okay. And that is you are just stating the facts that there is a poem existing, okay. And we what we're talking about here is not about the poem itself, how he made the poem, but the elements or the contents, uh, the root of the thesis, no, uh, yung tema ng thesis niya why he came up for that kind of idea. So her written works often include strong themes such as perseverance through trials, love for family, and passionate optimism. So this is actually a guide, not just for your reader, but you yourself, that you will be guided no, uh, to your essay. So yung sa body mo, hindi yung body mo, yung sa body ng essay mo, um, you can actually put in there, um, you will be guided that because of the subtopic that you will be discussing. Uh, the problem nowadays, class, no, uh, I know that you have ample ideas, but the problem is your I uh, ideas is not concise, meaning to say you are jumping to a different idea. That's why your teacher, for example, your English teacher or maybe your science teacher may probably having a hard time of checking your essay because you are jumping to a different uh, ideas. So to make, to make sure that you will be guided, uh, thesis statement is a key, okay? Because you will be guided the subtopic that you will be discussing, the main idea, and the complete thought. So that's why when when your teacher reading it, they know where to go. Alam nila yung flow ng essay mo because it, it is clearly stated in your thesis statement and in the introductory paragraph, okay? So, uh, States and opinion or attitude is another key feature of what we call thesis statement, okay? Good thesis statement class often express a writer's opinion or attitude on a particular topic. Uh, we have a negative connotation when it comes to attitude, no? Kasi ginagamit natin to attitude ka or parang feeling natin negative impact. But just want you to know that the attitude that I am referring to, the, le the lesson or the learning, 
that you got because of that experience or maybe because of uh, not just the experience but the the values that you got um from 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 the hub from the talents that you have no so ganyan ang gusto kong palabasin dito so this make the thesis statement more specific and requires the writer to explain or probe his her opinion in the essay remember class opinion consider as as a as a as a facts now there is a basis hindi siya yung uh, kaya tinawag lang siyang opinion because you need to prove diba but of course there is a basis why you have that kind of opinion all right so look at the example i learned to play many musical instruments when i was young so definitely class this is not a thesis statement because you are just stating the facts and you are just uh, giving us the main idea so to make it better to make it a thesis statement you may write like this learning to play uh, many musical instruments when i was young helped me to become more intelligent and well-rounded person indeed this is a thesis statement why because this is much probably better than the other one that i just gave you right because it expresses how the writer feels about the experience of learning uh, to play a musical instrument and this is a statement also requires the writer to explain how and why uh, playing a musical instrument uh, made him a better version of himself no? so may probably ask uh, opinion attitude okay well the attitude that you will become a well-rounded person and of course you may probably say that based on your opinion you'll become a more intelligent so uh things like that so this is what i am referring to so ang technique nga kanina yung uh, sinasabi ko you have to ask yourself the question why what and how if you can probably justify that uh using that particular question then indeed that is a thesis statement i can guarantee you with that and of course um another example the cancun I, I, I'm really scared of pronouncing it, but hopefully I can pronounce it well. Cancun is a popular vacation spot in uh, Mexico. So if you try to look at that, it's not clearly stated. You are just saying that the Mexico is a good spot, but for what reason? Okay. So now you have to ask yourself, what is the reason? Right? Now, if you can answer that, then that may probably a thesis statement. Okay. So how are you going to do it? Cancun is one of the best vacation spots in Mexico because of its comfortable climate and proximity to some well-known archaeological sites. Makes sense, correct? So this is what we call a thesis statement. So if you think that the sentence is kind of a little bit shorter, so try to wonder um, because the shorter the statement is, most probably that's not the thesis statement. Because when we say a thesis statement, the longer the better. <laughs> so ganun naman ang, uh, ang, uh, ang, ang kanyang uh, identity. No? So now, uh, let's talk about the uh, subtopics. We know how to make a thesis statement. We know where to find a thesis statement. We know that there is a main idea to make it a complete sentence and things like that. So now let's talk about the subtopics. What is the important and what is the role of the subtopics in your essay? Okay. Or should I say in a thesis statement? You can make your thesis statement more specific by including subtopics or supporting ideas. By doing this, you give your reader a clear idea of what will follow in the body paragraphs of your essay. So, just like this, the large influx of people to California has hard major effects on the states. So definitely, this is not E. Uh, I just think a subtopic because there is no subtopic. Does that make any sense? You have to do this. The large influx of people in California has a major effects on the ability of the state to provide what? Number one, housing. Number two, a uh, subtopic, electricity. And of course, a job. That is a subtopic number three. So definitely, this is indeed a, uh, there is a uh, subtopic in this system. <laughs> so another example, just in case we're probably having a hard time again of understanding how to make a subtopic, at least three min minimum of three subtopics, 
Inner city public schools grapple with some serious problem. Definitely, there's no subtopics or name in this, this statement. You could have write this way. Some of the most uh, serious problem in today's inner city public schools are number one, okay? Number one, the overcrowded classroom. That is the subtopic number one. The second one is the low, the low percentage of trained teachers and of course the lack of sources such as textbook for students. So definitely that's how you do it. There is a subtopic and uh, definitely it's understandable, clear. And uh, you can probably start your body because, body of your essay because of these subtopics that you already mentioned on your introductory paragraph, which is in the thesis statement. So when it say the uh, key features, when to thesis statement, remember class, when you are using a thesis statement, you should avoid using statement like this essay will discuss or I'm going to write about because that is pretty obvious. I mean, you don't need you don't need to uh, to write unnecessary words because obviously you are discussing that and of course do not remove the element of surprise that your order let your audience find the, 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 the point you know your main point your ideas okay uh, let them find it by themselves of course they will understand the concept once they once they read until to your thesis state, yeah? So just like this, don't state the obvious like this. In this essay, I'm going to discuss the effect of long-term drug abuse. Oh, come on. We know that you are discussing that. So put an X on that. So you can actually use this one. Long-term drug use can have disastrous effects on one's marriage, career, and health better, right? And uh, another example um, for this, just to make sure um, that you can use it, that you can write or remove it, okay? This essay will discuss some ways teacher can fight in its drug of use. Now, so let's just uh, make it more uh, pleasing. Teacher can fight teenage drug abuse by educating young people on its dangers and by being good role model so this is mm, sound better and uh, of course you can write without using that essay you know what i'm guilty of of using it because uh i i did that uh when i was in college or uh, when i was studying i actually admit that i did that but of course i learned the process and uh, I know that we sometimes use unnecessary words just to connect uh, our ideas or because we're lacking out of words and uh, we wanted to make sure that we are like very con uh, conversational when it comes to our essay. That's why we put it that way. We're just like, you know, writing the way we talk. But of course, not all the time it's applicable but because of some guidelines, but I hope you learn something from this okay so the key features has been the uh, I mean this key features already discussed and you've been encountered this for sure so I may uh, posting the uh, exercises regarding of how to make a Jesus statement so get ready for yourself um, I'll be posting it in a Google Classroom. So hopefully you understand something. Uh, thank you so much for watching and listening to our uh, video lesson. So see you next time. Bye.